railroad terminal in Boise, Idaho sits at the top of Capitol Boulevard, rounded by luscious gardens. It overlooks Capitol Boulevard and shoots a straight shot to the Capitol building at the state of Idaho. It's a great place to live and was a great place to grow up. The cars would all pull up, offload the suitcases, they would go into the building to the left to be put onto carts, ready and separated for by city. Then we'd all go back into the main terminal building or lobby area, always highlighted by the great tower at the railway depot. Grandpa would step off that train, drop to the loading platform as it rolled to a stop, and come looking for his grandkids who'd come to meet him. 65 years has come and gone, and it seems like only yesterday I was standing here with Grandpa. I'd walk out the door of the lobby of the depot only because I was a Severn, only because I was the grandson of the conductor, they would allow me to come right out to the edge of the tracks. And if the Portland Rose was coming in from the west from Portland or coming in from the east from Salt Lake City, I'd stand right here. And I would be so excited to hear the whistle blowing off in the distance. And pretty soon that great huge iron horse, that yellow iron horse, would come around the bend or come straight down the track and stop right here. The baggage trains or, tra or trailers came from there where all the suitcases and paraphernalia and freight were. And all the passengers loaded on this now quiet dock. The Iron Horse changed everything because the men who created it had a dream. And they started with nothing more than an idea. They maintained that idea and their thought process. They turned their dream into reality. And all of a sudden, tracks were laid. Engines were built. Cars were created. And I want to tell you, the train became the primary mode of transportation. You could go so far, much more so in a day, than you ever could on foot or by horse or wagon. The options weren't so many as they are today. But every great thing has to have a beginning. And the beginning of the railroad changed the entire course of the nation of America. What's your beginning? I want you to take out a piece of paper and over the next 24 hours, I want you to seriously write down in your own handwriting on a piece of paper the 10 most important things you want to accomplish in your life in the next five years. They can't be just nice little wants or it'd be wonderful to have. These are critically important things that you want to accomplish. And then I want you to get a picture of those things, those dreams, and cut it out and put it up where you have to look at it every day. Let it be one of the last things you look at at night and the first thing you look at in the morning. And that's the same thing as boarding a train that hasn't left the station. Because once your train begins to move, your journey is started, and it all begins with a dream. Then you will learn to manifest that dream into a vision. The vision will discipline your flesh. You can stay steady at the work required to accomplish your vision. And that in turn will achieve the dreams and goals you've set for yourself from the very beginning. It's all a process. I can see my grandpa 
at the end of the train with his arm signal to the engineer way up at the front, a lantern held in his hand, and a vertical up and down movement signaled that the train was ready to leave. Now once that train left, it never stopped and backed up. And if you missed it when it left, you either ran to catch it or you watched it go off without you. You had to wait again for another train. Don't let your dreams leave you in the dust. You can succeed, but you have to do what those who have succeeded before you have done and that is to consistently and persistently pursue, passionately pursue that dream until it's completed and you own it. I'm excited for your future. All aboard! Let's go somewhere together. Peace and love to all of you. Papa Bear.